What's going on guys? My name is Zed and welcome to this video. This is going to be a reaction video, a reaction to the very first trailer for Disney's Monsters at Work. Now, there was a teaser that dropped, I don't know, a little less than a month ago, and I purposefully did not watch that in anticipation for the full trailer. So I'm a big, big Monsters Incorporated fan, and without any further ado, I just have to get into this. So let's get started. This summer. Oh yeah, we're returning to the monster world. Yes. And actually, we don't scare anymore. Now we're laugh power. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, of course. Just kidding. It's laughter we're after. We're gonna need to find a couple of hundred more funny monsters. Excuse me, Tyler Tuskman, official scarer. What? Scarer? You're no longer hiring scarers? Yeah, yeah. Scarers are out. Jokesters are in. Is this a joke? Report to Mift. <laughs> yeah! Home sweet home. Meet the new guy, Tyler Dustman. Hi. We were best buds in college. We just had that one class together. Yeah, but it was special. We didn't actually speak. Is that Mindy uh, Kaling? What exactly is Mift? What is Mift? Ah, uh, now you've done it. The Monsters Inc. facilities team. M I F T. If a machine needs maintenance, we maintain it. Oh, I love it. None of us will ever speak of this again. Nobody saw nothing. Well, I remember this guy from the first movie. I was told this is a temporary reassignment. Good for you. Mindy Kaling. Henry Winkler. I'll teach all you scary much. It's gonna be crystal, of course. I'm not sure this was such a good idea. They just delivered the new kids had an ID. Welcome to Monsters Incorporated. Oh! Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so here are my initial feelings uh, after watching the first trailer for Monsters at Work. I'll give you the, the, the quick and easy. I can't wait to watch it. I, re I really I really think it's going to be a fun series. Um, but here's some nitpicks. Um, so, my entire life, I've been a Monsters Incorporated fan. Um, I was right at the age gap where it came out and I saw it. And for, I believe, my third or fourth birthday, I shared it uh, with a friend that had a very similar birthday as me. Uh, so we always had, like, conjoined birthday parties. And I remember one year we had, like, five copies of Monsters Incorporated on VHS that we both got. And it's been a very important movie for me. I just think it's one of the most rewatchable. Uh, Disney Pixar films, even though they all kind of are <laughs> in their own right, but seeing Billy Crystal and John Goodman jump back into these roles for the first time since 2011? I think it was 11 when Monsters U came out. I can't exactly remember, but seeing them jump back into the roles of adult Sully and Mike is, is, is really, really fun. Um, I think it also has a great supporting cast. The only thing I'm not... 100% on is some of the animation feels very stiff. Um, there's especially this shot of Roz towards the end of the trailer where it doesn't even look like her lip sync is is matched up correctly. I, I don't I don't know what it is. I'll play it real, real real quick right here and you can tell me what you think. They just delivered the new kids had an ID. So yeah, I don't really know what to think about that. Uh, it definitely there there are some moments in here I'm like. <sighs> That's not as good as I want it to be. Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely passable. It's definitely still gonna be fun. Again, I've always had the mentality is, if it's a good story and it has really great performances, it, it doesn't matter what it looks like. You could give me a copy of The Godfather on VHS and it will still play as The Godfather. So it doesn't really matter from Godfather on VHS to Godfather on 4K. 
it will still be just as wonderful to watch. And I, and I, and I do really believe in that mentality. Um, there are a few uh, problems with it visually, but it seems like tonality is going to be a lot similar to the, uh, you know, the, 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 the chemistry between the characters seems pretty good. And obviously John Goodman and Billy Crystal recorded a lot of their lines for Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University together to actually get that bouncing off of each other. So I hope they actually went that route this time too. And I love that they're bringing in a character who wants to be a scarer, but now has to kind of figure out how to be a performer, an actual, you know, he's, he has to be a funny man now. It's interesting. I, I don't know. I think I'm just rambling now, but again, um, so I apologize for rambling on. Uh, overall, I'm really excited uh, for Monsters at Work. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below, uh, but thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, I'll be talking to you when I talk to you. Peace.